you read the game better when you've all the facts. Welcome to the INM newsroom where thanks to AIR, proud sponsor of the GAA All-Ireland Football Championship, we'll be catching up with Vincent Hogan to discuss this week's match between Kerry and Clare. Hi Vincent. Hi Maura So if we start off by looking at County Clare, they've been the stories of the championship so far. They were worthy six point winners against Ross Common. They're playing a great brand of football, they've got momentum on their side, but they also have a lot of mileage on the clock compared to Kerry, who have been sitting in the long grass and waiting since the Munster final. Probably a huge factor given you're going into the wide open spaces of Croke Park. And, and Clare, a team that won the Division 3 final, remember, they went all the way in the league. And now this is their sixth championship game and they're so deep in bonus territory, you're right, this, this could come against them. Like Galway, Clare have a strong midfield, a lot of praise has been given to Gary Brennan, but how will he fare against the likes of Kieran Donaghy and Brian Sheen? Yeah, it's a huge question. Gary Brennan is in his tenth championship year and it's like he's a, an overnight discovery. Mm -hmm. You know, people are talking about him, he could be the footballer of the year if, if it was decided now. He was magnificent against Roscommon. For the first 40 minutes, he gave an exhibition that is as good as anything people have seen. Is it difficult to gauge how good Kerry are at this stage of the championship when you look at the opposition they've played against and the performances they've given so far? They've played well and they have a good structure on the field, but they've leaked a lot of scores as well. Do you know, it's a huge question for him and Fitzmaurice because that league final was a real wake-up call for him. You know, they, they, the energy that Dublin showed in the league final against a defence that had two or three 30-year-olds, and Eamon Fitzmaurice has been trying to recalibrate the Kerry defence in this championship, but he's done it against Tip and Kerry, or, or against Tip and Clare, two games that they've won really comfortably. And he doesn't know how well that defence is recalibrated. I don't think he really expects them to be fully stress-tested this Sunday. Eamon Fitzmaurice has stated that the um, disrespect shown towards Tipperary and Clare has been unjust. But when you look at their record and Kerry's record in Crow Park, they've never lost against Munster opposition. It's very hard to see it, being honest. I mean, I think he has to say these things about <coughs> Tip and Clare being disrespected. And, you know, to be fair to Tip and Clare, they're, they're both going to be in the last eight of this championship, which is a phenomenal achievement by both of them. What's been interesting about the championship is that only two Division I teams have yet to be beaten by teams from the lower divisions. And those two teams are Kerry and Dublin, who were the league finalists. So I think Eamon Fitzmaurice will fully expect to win this game. The one way Kerry deal with being strong favourites is they talk about heading home and the humiliation they would feel if they lost to a Tipperary or a Clare and sitting on that humiliation for the year. Considering all the momentum that's behind Clare at the moment, how much of a blow is it psychologically that they had to face Kerry again? I think that's a huge question, Mark Fassa. I, mean, I think Colin Collins will accentuate the positives this week. He has to do that. And, and rightly so, they're, they're a team on the move. But he has often spoken himself about the provincial system and not being fit for a purpose on the basis that the likes of Tip and Clare are endlessly facing Cork or Kerry. And now here they are, bouncing along, and they reach it for the first time in their history in All-Ireland quarter-final, and who's waiting for them in Croke Park? Kerry. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare scenario for them. He won't admit that, but it's a very, very difficult game for them now psychologically. 13 out of 15 All-Ireland quarter-finals have been won by Kerry. How likely is it that that will change on Sunday? I suspect highly unlikely. They're in their natural environment going into Croke Park in August and September. Eamon Fitzmaurice will fully expect them to be there in the All-Ireland semi-finals. I don't think it'll be 12 points like it was in the Munster semi-final. I think it'll be a much closer game, but I take Kerry by six or seven points. Thanks to Vincent. Well, we're hoping for a cracker. Be sure to check out Air GAA for weekly competitions and the chance to win tickets all the way up to the All-Ireland Football Final. Until the next time, bye-bye.